There are numerous places throughout the world known for their spooky atmosphere, though some are considered more haunted than others. Join Viewcation as we find the most haunted places in the world. Alcatraz Island You might have seen Clint Eastwood escape from there in Escape from Alcatraz, but did you know that Alcatraz Island is actually considered haunted? The reasoning is fairly obvious. More often than not, locations deemed as haunted are locations with a dark history, and few locations have a darker history than Alcatraz Island. It's located in California's San Francisco Bay, and it housed an infamous federal penitentiary that operated from 1934 to 63. During that time, it housed some of the country's most dangerous criminals. As one might imagine, this didn't lead to the greatest environment. Prisoners were mistreated, and prisoners also mistreated the guards. On many occasions, there were fatalities. Often, these fatalities were self-inflicted. Today, Alcatraz Island functions as a museum for tourists. The idea that the island is haunted only adds to its ghoulish nature, with rumors that chains can be heard jangling and red eyes can be seen glowing in the night. The Island of the Dolls A lesser-known location that's just as haunted is Mexico's Isla de las Muñecas. That translates to the Island of the Dolls. When you get to the island, you'll see a clear reason for the designation. The island is populated by creepy little dolls hanging from trees, and the sight of these dolls will give tourists a fright, whether they know the supernatural backstory behind them or not. As the legend goes, a man found a young girl drowned on the island with a doll in tow. He then tied this doll to a nearby tree as a sort of makeshift memorial. As time went on, he began to feel as if he was being haunted by the young girl's spirit. He was compelled to hang more dolls to satiate the spirit, and that's how the island of the dolls came to be. To make matters worse, there are some who claim they can hear the dolls whispering to each other in the night. There are even those who say the girl's spirit possesses the dolls. Larnock Castle there was a time in history when there was nothing more modern and eloquent than the classic Middle Ages style castle. But they've developed decidedly dark reputations over time, both thanks to their intimidating architecture and the possible horrors that may have occurred within their walls. Located in New Zealand, Larnock Castle is one of the more notable haunted castles known to the modern world. It's said to be haunted by the daughter of its original owner, a man named William Larnock. William had a daughter named Kate and she died not long after her 21st birthday. Today, her spirit is believed to reside in the castle's ballroom. Piddock Mansion Castles have largely gone the way of the dinosaur, but that doesn't mean wealthy people haven't continued to build excessively large homes. Just as with castles, the mansions of the wealthy elite from more recent times are notorious for becoming decrepit and possibly haunted. One such case is Piddock Mansion, located in Oregon. The mansion was built by newspaper editor Henry Piddock, who planned to start a family with his wife Georgiana. Sadly, those plans didn't turn out as the couple died only a few years after the mansion was built. After the Piddocks passed away, the mansion they built remained under the ownership of their extended family for a few decades before being sold off in the late 50s. Within a decade of being sold, a storm hit the mansion and caused extensive damage. The mansion was about to be torn down when community activists stepped in and claimed they wanted to preserve the building for its historical merit. This is how the mansion became a historic site and it has since developed a reputation as being haunted. Of course, believers say the couple still resides in the mansion, with the Piddocks having never fulfilled their dream of starting a family. Povelia Island There was an infamous mental hospital on the Venetian island of Povelia, and many people say the island is haunted because of it. The island has drawn loads of paranormal investigators to Venice, though it could be that these investigators are just using the haunting as an excuse to taste some fine Italian cuisine. Though paranormal investigators have been able to get within the walls of the mental hospital that once operated there, the ruins are officially off-limits to the public. Many believe this off-limits status is kept in place because of the facility's exceptionally haunted nature. Stanley Hotels You might already know that the Stanley Hotel in Colorado inspired author Stephen King to write his novel The Shining, which in turn was adapted into Stanley Kubrick's iconic film. 
Not only was it based on an actual hotel, but the hotel is still in operation today. It attracts horror fans from all over the world. It's been around since 1909. It was named after a famous inventor, Freeland Oscar Stanley, who both designed and managed it. It was exceptionally cutting edge for the time when it opened up. It came to be known as one of the first facilities of its kind in the region to feature both telephones and electricity, which is wild considering it was always intended as a wilderness retreat for the wealthy elite. By the 1970s, the Stanley Hotel had become a mockery of its former self and many began to spread rumors that there were ghosts lining the walls. The haunted nature of the building is what drew horror writer Stephen King, who found the inspiration he needed to write his new novel after he spent the night. When it came time for the book to be adapted into a feature film, the Stanley Hotel wasn't used as a shooting location, but the popularity of The Shining still increased the popularity of the building that inspired it. The lasting popularity of both the book and the subsequent film has allowed the Stanley Hotel to continue to operate to this day. Aokigahara Forest Aokigahara Forest is located towards the bottom of Japan's famous Mount Fuji, but it also has a decidedly disturbing nickname, Suicide Forest. The reasoning for this is plain. Aokigahara is an exceptionally popular place for residents of Japan to commit suicide. The phenomenon started in the 1950s. As time went on and rumors began to spread, more and more people came to think of the forest as the place to go if you need to kill yourself in Japan. Though most have chosen not to question the phenomenon of suicides in the forest, there are those with theories that suggest suicides aren't just caused by depression. Some have speculated the iron deposits underneath the forest can mess with compasses and make travelers get lost. After a few days of not finding their way, they take their own life. Regardless of the real reason behind the number of suicides that continue to occur within the forest, the evidence is plain. Visitors to the forest have documented the surplus of corpses dotting its vicinity, with some influences having even gotten in trouble for posting footage of the site to social media after visiting. It seems visitors can make it in and out of the forest nowadays without committing suicide unless they truly want to, so the supernatural dangers seem moot. Still, the haunted nature of the location goes without question, and we'd stay away. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited any of these places? Let us know in the comments section below.